I was uh, born and raised outside of Boston, Massachusetts. People ask you what, you know, what do you want to do? Do you want to be an engineer? Do you want to do some sort of finance? And none of that really sounded interesting. The only thing that really, that really seemed enjoyable to me was I'd, I'd rather just fly. A recruiter came by and he said, look, there's a lot of ways to do it in the Air Force. You can, uh, you can go to the academy, you can do ROTC, you can uh, go to OTS, and it, it, the academy sounded like a good option. Um, and I started having trouble uh, when I was working out, when I was running, lifting, uh, noticing trouble breathing. Uh, I, had, I had the biopsy done to, to my chest, and, uh, and then a bone marrow biopsy done the following day. And Thursday of that week, the same doctor walks in and says, hey, Colin, you've got non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and uh, we got to start chemo tomorrow. The chemotherapy treatments came quick. Uh, they're every three weeks. It was always this, this thought of, OK, when, when can I get back? I, I think I'm going to be pushed back a year. I'll go back 2014. That was at, at the time, that was my girlfriend's class. So I thought, hey, that'd be great, graduate together. Um, so 2013 it became 2014. All of a sudden, I realized I'm not going to be I'm not going to be healthy by 2014. The doctor said I'm going to send you down to Houston, uh, try uh, put you on a trial treatment, a genetic modification sort of deal, and that hadn't even had 30 patients go through it. Uh, we think it might have some effect for you. We flew down uh, for the week, and and the doctor said, Hey, look, this is this is new. It's it's not tested, but and we think, you know, there's a chance it could help. Uh, had a few tests done, had a, a pulmonary test done, had a, pet, a final PET scan done that he wanted as a baseline to see how effective his treatment was. We came back from that, we're ready to start. He walks into the exam room and says, hey, Colin, I, I can't treat you. And so we say, all right, doc, what is it? And he said, no, 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 you don't understand. My grant money only covers people who have active disease. I can't treat you because you're not sick. I don't know what the doctor in Boston saw a month ago in that PET scan, but I'm, I can show you this one on the computer. There's nothing there, um, which is obviously surprisingly good news for people that have had nothing but uh, bad news thrown at them. And uh, a year ago, they said I wasn't going to fly. A year before that, they said I wasn't going to graduate. And a year before that, they said I wasn't going to live. So every year, it's just getting a little bit better, right? I had this, this sort of phrase, this mantra I always said to myself. Every day is a gift, every meal is a banquet, and every friendship's a blessing. And uh, that sort of keeps me on track and uh, keeps me looking in the right direction.